Hi. Uh, I wasn't going to demonstrate this because there are a lot of little demonstrations on uh, YouTube about how to do this. It's a basically painting in negative space. And it's being uh, called reverse painting, which is simply outlining um, a shape, a simple shape. For starters, this is where we started here, okay? And you outline that. I used this cup, which actually I think is a little large. The bottom of it was a nicer size here. But, you know, to have a few on there would be all right. Uh, I've got some other shapes here that I haven't used yet. And then I used this um, tea leaf shape on the green one. So this one's done. Done enough. This one's going to get another layer quite dark. And this is actually, hmm, I think maybe I should turn the light on. There we go. It's a little better. This is uh, basically a, uh, I think it's a hooker's green. I darkened it a little bit. Now I'm going to go and get some of this nice, black stuff here. It's it's brown, but it has blue with it. And I'm going to mix a bunch of maybe green and make a real dark green to blacken in a lot of the depth here. Now, I used this for these. And this first layer was, I initially made a very wet into wet washy uh, light background of yellow and green and a little bit of cerulean. Okay, and then I, when that dried, I drew these on it. And then the next layer that I did, where I left only see these lightest ones, I put in the next layer was this green, this light green layer here. Uh, and so the leaf doesn't show when you put that in. You paint that around all of these top ones. When that dries, you go back in with your stencil and you make new ones. There's one back there. See these blue ones? Okay. So then the next, the next, um, right, you go around this second layer of green with blue. Then you draw the blues in and you go around those with this dark green. So it was yellow. Green, blue, green. Four layers. I'm going to put on a fifth now. And um, I, uh, I wonder if I can change this to the rapid speed while I draw it in. I think I can. Mm hmm. But I don't know. What's this? Oh, that's taking a photo. Well, that's nice. Ooh, that looks like something weird on there. Let's try that again. Okay. So I think um, I'm just, well, I'll do one. Okay, right here, it's pretty dark. And actually, I've got a couple of layers I could still put in here. I'm going to draw around this. I don't draw on top of any leaves. I only, every time, you only draw where you know there's no leaf. And you stop when you get to one. And that's how you know what to paint around. And the reason I wanted to do this today is in painting around these, I noticed um, some brush us usage that I, I would need to, mm, I would like to point out. Um, you notice that there's a lot of wash in here. What you can do with these is simply paint with water what it is. Ooh. Paint it carefully and then when you and then you can put your color into that and let it move around in these areas and um, it's a lot easier than trying to brush it all out. 
But when you're doing that and it's moving around, we do go ahead and take our brush a little closer and start doing this stuff. But we're not sticking it in paint. And The water is there, and when it's there, we're just moving it around with the brush. We're basically dragging water around with a nice soft brush. All right, so I'm going to just take a break here while I outline the rest of these, and I will be back. Okay, we're back in business. Sun's in now, so... Hmm, well, I'm not going to move anything. Okay, well... There's my cobalt blue. I think I'm going to go in there with cobalt blue. I just freshened up my water. Hardly drank almost all of it. She seemed to like the yellow one the best. Can you see what I'm doing? Not really. This is a tube of cobalt blue that dried. It's real expensive. You don't throw your paints away. And it's real good. They don't go bad. No, I'm not going to put a straight cobalt blue on there. I'm going to make it, uh, let's go for like a really dark green. I'll just put this right here so you can see what I'm doing. More or less, where am I? In here, okay. I'm going to go ahead and mix red in it. I'm going to mix a bunch of stuff in it to get myself a nice dark green. Rinsing brush in the large, wiping it off, next one down. Okay, and back to the distilled water. And here's a bunch of green. This is a this is Viridian. It's a very strong green. Good for mixing. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more cobalt blue into that. That's nice and dark there. I want to make sure I have enough mixed up to um, get all around in here. Okay? Now that's not enough paint if I'm going to be going uh, like this. But that's not what we do. We've got our paint ready, got our brush very loaded up, and what I'm going to do, my brush is still loaded, I'm going to go ahead and take this one, which holds a point when it's wet, and I'm going to start down here. Actually, you can see that pretty well, so I'll just try to stay in the light. Um, there are outlines of leaves that are behind the other leaves. When you draw them, you just don't draw on anything that's not the color that you just did. In this case, it's green. Now I'm going to sit down so I can brace my arms to do this. Okay, this is water. I'm only going to put water in. Can you see it? I hope so. I think we can, uh, yeah, all right, I'm right here with the water. Okay, so my cup stencil, my stencil cup. Whoops, that's a little much water. Uh, let's see, I went all the way up in there. I'm going to go in here. I don't see a leaf in here. So I'm going to cover all of that green. 
I have too much water, so I just wiped a little off. I'm dragging the water. Now it should look a little darker. Okay, here's a place that it's going to need some dark color. And I already wet that. Now it looks like there's something here, but I can't tell what it is. See, that's a leaf. Okay, this is the other part of this leaf. Right there. Putting water. Oh, my head's not in it. Let's see. Uh, around this leaf. Okay, and then it starts. Now this uh, green that was on here, I put on a little bit full intensity, and so it's coming up a bit. All right, that's enough for now so that you can see what I'm doing. Did you see I just did this? I'm not chicken scratching. Did you see me go over into the palette or the water to put more? No, this whole thing. Okay, now, <laughs> all right, where's that little brush? This is when it is okay to go ahead and hold your brush a little closer. We talked about this before. A nice big watercolor brush, it just fits right into your hand like this. Okay, there's a fat part. A smaller one is shaped the same, but it fits into your hand a little farther down. And now you can hold it close. You see here, you don't hold it close. You got the, the thin part balanced up here. Okay, but this, you put the thin part balanced up here, and there you are. You're nice and close in. So, without further ado, because this water is drying, here comes the uh, very dark green. I'm going to put it into the water. Now, you see I'm kind of flicking it along in here. But I'm not doing this. I'm just... What I'm doing, actually, is I'm letting water flow out of my brush. I mean, letting the pigment or the paint that we mixed up flow out of my brush into water that's filling that space. And it will receive the color. You don't have to keep doing this, okay? Oh, here's where the... Okay, this is wet here. Can you see it spreading? Right here in the bright sun. And it's not spreading over into the leaf. Because I didn't put any water there. I put the water where I want my color to go. Let's see, uh, there's something unidentified here. Now, this is quite dark, but I'm gonna go back in with something that's almost black for the last, oops. Okay, I got more water. I'm gonna throw some water in while I'm at it. That's okay too. Okay, I'm not chicken scratching. This is wet. This is water. I'm moving water. I'm not taking a dry brush. And scratching at my paper until it's there's nothing in it to going back and getting some more old dry paint and scratching at my paper nope no i haven't put water into these i'm just doing this freehand okay so i've gone over it a couple of times done leave it alone i'm gonna fix this little nick right here okay done leave it alone uh, here, I'm going to pull this through here really tight and then go on out. Okay. Um, where else did I put water? I'm going to put it everywhere that I'm going to paint this. I just wanted to make sure I had it in <sighs> so that this doesn't get too long. Okay, here's the leaf here. This is a very wet brush I'm laying in here too. Okay. Here's this leaf. I'm following pencil lines here. You may not be able to see them. I'm following something strange here. 
Okay. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, I was. I don't know what I did there. Now, another thing that's nice about this is when you pick up this dark and you make a little, you put the water there, to, you put the paint there to pick up with water later or you're sticking it into the water, but it is a little bit darker than the rest of it because you're putting the straight uh, water color that you mixed. right on here and whoops when you go back in to spread it around with a little water it'll stay darker there and then it makes it look like a little bit of a shadow under this leaf it gives it even more depth okay let's try that over here here's a nice dry spot i'm going to go here Remember, we practiced this. Wet into wet, or we, we practiced putting color into water, and we practiced putting water into color on the paper. They both work. I can't tell what I'm looking at here. What's this blue thing? Oh, it's a slice.